Hi there, and welcome to Beep Boop Electronics Workshop. Today I'd like to show you a new module that I've been working on. It's a expander for the tape sampler. What it adds is a microphone that allows you to record your voice in very quickly and play it back, loop it and modulate it. But there's also the possibility of doing some strange things with um, real world feedback uh, when the tape sampler is used in filter mode. Okay, so if we take a sample of my voice, one, two, three, four. I've just realized. Um, good one, two, three, four. When recording, it's always best to have it in the center and it gives you the most range and uh, also it's more likely to record when it's within this kind of uh, 180 degree um, section. So now we've got a sample. If I play it back. One, two, three, four. We can one, modulate two, it. Three, four. One, two. It's pretty strange, but um, I like it. Um, but as well as like LFOs and enveloped, we can also use uh, oscillators. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I've been having a lot of fun messing around with that in my system since um, uh, I got this working. Um, so as well as kind of recording your voice, you can also uh, mess around with feedback. So if we put it in filter mode, and now what will be happening is we'll be listening to it. We're listening directly to the microphone and it's being filtered by this main knob here. Um, so we take those envelopes again. It's a pretty wonky filter, but uh, it's got its own character, which is kind of cool. Microphone into this, which it comes with, um, to be able to mess around with, you know, the direction of the mic, uh, what it's next to, maybe even the material that it's um, uh, the sounds being passed through. Uh, lots of different opportunities to exper experiment. Um, so we've modulated the CV, which is the pitch, uh, with kind of uh, DC envelopes and uh, LFOs, and with audio rate. Um, but as well as that. A little thing um, feature that a lot of people don't know about the tape sampler is that when it's in filter mode, the gate um, input effectively kind of works like a. I guess uh, best way to describe it is like AM, digital AM. It just turns it on and off um, effectively. So if you do that at audio rates, then you get some again some interesting. <laughs> So there, I was using um, uh, a Ripple's clone as an oscillator, you know, self-resonating, to modulate the gate input. Here it's got a very square wave kind of character to it, even though that's a sign. And that's because it's turning it effectively on and off, whereas the CV input will slowly move this. So together. But 
that's not all you can do with it. You could also try feeding other oscillators. <laughs> you like uh, this new expander um, there's I'll just turn that off there's a guide online <laughs> uh, there's a guide online to uh, show you how to connect the two up um, this expander is powered directly from this one and then there's just another jumper cable uh, for the two connections so um, they're going to retail for 30 pounds and that'll include a microphone uh, that you can input into this this socket here uh, and then, yeah, some really strange things can happen. If you start to experiment with the direction of the mic when feedbacking, um, yeah, who knows what's happening. Uh, it's interesting anyway. So um, thanks very much for your support, and uh, uh, check us out on YouTube if you subscribe. The, I'm going to be uploading all the new releases. Now I've finally got a camera. Thanks very much. Bye.